Hello and welcome to episode 5 of the Ezrin Plays Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I totally forgot the name of this thing came for a second. Uh, yes, Th Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, the Clan Quest mod. So we are going to pick up right where we left off. Therese asks us to go to the Surfside Diner and meet Jeanette in the corner next to the phone booth and convince her to forgive, and convince Jeanette to forgive Therese. So let's get to work. I should really get some blood here somewhere. Do I have any blood packs? I have I have three. Let's drink one. I said use. Thank you. I have to sneeze. Give me just a moment. There we go. That's better. In case you're wondering, I record these in basically one take. I don't edit them or anything. I just kind of record them and then compress them and upload them. So, uh, you know, stuff like sneezing is going to happen. I don't know how to edit things, and that's just, uh, that's a lot of work. <laughs> so, I, so I don't bother. <clears throat> hey, those guys weren't there before. Hey, buddy. How you doing? How are you? Right, let's go find. Let's go wait for Therese to get here. Oh god, I'm being shot at. Oh well. <laughs> this should be fun. Prudian. Ah. Murder. I just sent that dude like flying across the room. I love the way right, the, the ragdolls in this game work. It's hilarious. Oh, from behind that. Stupid. Just a couple more. Oh, I'm, getting, I'm actually getting low on health. What do you know? That was odd. Alright, fat man. Boom. Hello. I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her design. So she sent those men to kill you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this tongue business. <laughs> She's crazy! Help! Huh. Okay, fat man. You can you can go back to what you were doing. I'm done murdering people in your in your diner. Alright, let's get over to the asylum again. And now we get to finally learn the Vorman sister's secret. Yay! The one that I asked people not to spoil in the last episode. Because I wanted to be the first to spoil it. <laughs> for the record, you, if you really don't want to spoil this for yourself, you might want to skip, like, I don't know, the next five or ten minutes of the video. I don't know how long this will take. I'll probably put an annotation up. Hey, that looks weird, huh? You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram. I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. Oh, I hope my persuasion's high enough. Tongue. He's turned you against me. You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? What's going Isn't on here? <coughs> what about I'm sorry. To rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore? Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? Kinder humans, by the way. Despicable. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence or you're dead. Oh, I don't have the... Ah, oh, crap, my persuasion isn't high enough. You. And he didn't have to force you. You went limp and became his... Shut up. 
Stop it, Jeanette. I'm gonna assign for threes this time. No one wants to hear your lies. Taking care of me. You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. In fact, actually, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna load this autosave. It all saves when you come out of the thing with Jake, the diner here. I'm sorry about interrupting it that way. Don't worry, we'll get back to it. I just forgot to spend some experience points, and I need to do that so I can get the. Oh, okay. I guess I need to go back to the diner. How many experience? Do oh, wow, lots. What's my persuasion? Three. Let's bump it up by. I probably shouldn't have done that. One there, and then I'll put the next. Once I get the other two from doing this, I'll put them into scholarship, and that'll bring my persuasion up to five, which is what you need for the best ending with uh, the twins there. Hello, thug dudes who are going to shoot at me in a couple seconds. You guys get to watch me fight these dudes again. Uh, where is it? Eh, whatever the mark is. I don't want that. Fear me! I just killed him one go. That was kind of cool. Those shotguns are annoying. Let's take care of that, shall we? Get up off the ground. Let's pick up that shotgun. I tried to do that last time. Alright. Answer the... Oh, I forgot to hit accept. Well then, I could probably just save some experience. There we go. So, I'm not in combat. Why, am I, why does he think I'm in combat? It's really annoying. Criminal violation. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. I'm terribly sorry. She's great! Yep. I heard that already. Alright, so I'm going to get shot at by cops when I come out here, and that's going to suck, because I have to go hide before I go back to what's her face. To the Vormans. Like I said numerous times, oh, how? Like I said numerous times in the last video, I am still sick. Nope. Oh, I died! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, there you go, that's what a final death looks like. I don't know if you've seen one of these yet. <laughs> uh, that was kind of funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have auto saved when I stepped out of the diner. <laughs> Uh, that's fortitude, and, and uh, let's try the blood. Ah, it was the wrong one. Blood heal. We'll go down into the sewers and eat a rat so I don't die. Or so I don't drink all, lose all my blood. Oh god, are they in here? Are they actually in here? Police are hunting for me. Let's get out of the way. If I see a cop down here, I'm going to eat him, because I really need some blood. I hear footsteps. I hear police. Oh, there he is. Mine. Die. Sorry, bud, but I need your blood. Humanity lost. What's my humanity at, anyway? Four? Well, it was higher than it needed to be, anyway. I think it's G that I need to go to now? Check the sewer map. Where's the asylum? Six? Yes, six. I need to go out through F, and I'm there. So, go behind me, and then take a right. What's the left? It was a right. Drain the blood from this little rat. Wasn't really worth it, but whatever. Yoink. If I can, ah, I hate getting into these things. All right. So this video has been going on for ten minutes now. We're going to head. It took a little bit longer than it should have, but you got to see me die, which is kind of funny. You know, everyone likes seeing people die in video games, right? That's how this works, isn't it? I died to humans, no less. God, I feel kind of pathetic. 
Oh, I made it out the second time, so whatever. No harm done. What's my persuasion at? Five? Good. My seduction isn't high, but I hope it doesn't need to be. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram, I swear. Shut up, Jeanette! I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? Ugh, sorry, I hate that little bit. It's like she has to rub it in. To rid the night she's trying of this to deviant, be nice. Backstabbing whore. Do you realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less? So like I said before, kind are humans. So unclean. You're one to talk, dear sister. Or All right, we've heard that bit. That bit. We've heard that. Him. We've heard that. What? Oh, whatever. Wait, why is this not? There's no. Uh... Whatever. Don't you want to hear what happened? Shut up. Stop it, Jeanette. Right, Jeanette. Take yeah, yeah. Care of me. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. She's a control freak. People, Why can't things, I... emotions. I'm if she so can't confused. control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in. Oh, it's because I didn't have the seduction. Huh? Darn. Oh well, so I won't get the best ending on this one. Hey, if it wasn't for Jeanette, I'd be on my way to Tonga right now. As I said, to trust Jeanette is to trust a famished jackal not to eat you while you sleep. Therese will never let you live. You disappointed her. I used you, yes, but I didn't try to have you killed. Therese has no problem with killing, do you? Remember father? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What happened to your father, Therese? I was always good to father. But Jeanette made him miserable. Over the years, it all became too much for him. I think she broke his heart. So he killed himself right in our room. Killed himself? Therese, you placed his finger on the trigger. Once you blew his mind all over the silly clown wallpaper. Right after he found me in your bed and thought I was you. He was always angry at you. You drove him to drink. When he died, he was in torment. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. I don't believe you, Jeanette. I shouldn't. I'm afraid, sister. I must write your ending in this family saga. And I want you to know, I do so with great anguish and disappointment. I had such hopes that you'd change for the better with my guidance. But so, sweet sister... Is this how it has to end? I admit, I always knew this night might come. Well, any message you want me to give Father? An apology? A love letter? Give me the gun. Didn't think that would work. I should turn this on you next, but I won't. Without Jeanette's assistance. Tongue, you, you're no threat. I'll call off the view if that will get you out of my city. Okay. <clears throat> I forgot that Therese is a bitch and all. I should have gone with Jeanette. Hun's hiding oh, well. out in an abandoned oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him that one condition of a truce is that he help you. Our business, then, is finally complete. What you witnessed here, not a word to anyone. I don't know if anyone would believe me anyway. Goodbye. Do try to stay cautious. I'd hate to see one so promising meet an end because of wayward trust in another. I may have need of someone like you in a few years, if you're still around. I remember that. Goodbye, Therese. Alright, so let's see. I've been going for about 15 minutes now. So, we're not going to start the tongue mission yet. We're going to instead go do the, uh... Uh, the... We're going to go do a mission for Mr. Arthur Kilpatrick. We're going to go meet Stanley Gimble. You're going to like this, I promise.
you're going to like the end of it. The first little bit might be a little bit boring. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if you heard that, but... Ah. Uh, I'm sorry, my nose is still stiff. Sniffly from the cold. Stutter a little bit there. Welcome to Kilpatrick 24 hour bail bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? All right. You can stop kissing my ass, fat boy. <laughs> I like you, sugar. You got balls. Pardon the expression, Missy, but you make a good bounty hunter. Really? You need nah, one. Nah, I already got a great one. But actually, I can't seem to find him right now, and it's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Maybe I could find him well, for you instead. I don't feel right cutting costs and loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Sure, I got ten minutes. I can do that. Of course, where should I look for him? Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something that'll let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. I'll find him. Goodbye. Alright, so let's go. Santa Monica Suites is the same building that Mercurio lives in, so we're going to go there. And uh, that is... Remember that building, I think, or that door across the hall from Mercurio that I highlighted and had the little key card thing? That's where we're going. So we're going to go there. As soon as I can find a way. I always get a little bit lost going through this, this particular alleyway because it has like six different directions you can go in. There's trips. I should have gone the other way. Oh well. No big deal. Let's talk to this cop. Crime scene. I'm gonna have to ask you to step back, please. What's going on here? Yeah, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days, huh? I just hope they catch the girl a uh, person who did this. Bye now. <laughs> Alright. Let's go in here. Now that I can open it, let's hack into this computer. I think I can do that. McGee. Control C. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, I can. Amalia. Alright, location. Tattoo parlor. Key. Don't forget the. Oh, okay, top of the TV. It's lovely. Let's, talk, let's listen to this thing. I don't think I can use it. Let's see, so I want to shoot things. Oh, hey, I can use it. What do you know? Reading. Cool. Now my firearm skills increase. Let's get the key. Can I, can I break into this? I don't think I can. Let's find blood buff. I don't think I can break into it even with blood buff. What is my lock picking? Four. Yeah, no, I can't break into that even with blood buff. So we are going to go find. Uh, let's go look for Carson. Last time I recorded video 5, I uh, I did the Thin Bloods quest in video 4, and then I didn't have enough stuff to do in video 5. I was just like, uh, uh, uh. Because <laughs> I did this version, it only took me like 10 minutes, and I was like, oh geez, how am I going to fill this time now? And I didn't know what else to do. I thought it would take longer. It was really strange. I ended up with a 20 minute video because I did one other thing that also took 10 minutes, and it was short, and I didn't like it. Phone's supposed to be ringing. Why is it not ringing? There it goes. So the phone. Hello. Hello. Might I speak with Mr. McGee? 
He doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? No, actually, I'm looking oh, for him myself. Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? He's just an old oh. friend. <laughs> I, I see. Could you answer a few questions for I me? Where are you located? At the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. I'll be there in a little while. This is my favorite quest the entire game. I, I, I'm not even kidding. This is my favorite, favorite quest in the entire game. It's real short, but it's got the best character in the game. The absolute best. It's even better if you're playing a Malkavian, but, uh,. Right now, it's just, oh, I'm gonna love it. Hey, Mercurio doesn't know how to park. I mean, to be fair, he was bleeding out, so I guess that's fair enough. Gimbal's prosthetics, right there. All the way down here. Oh, right, I forgot about this. What the hell is he doing? Is he trying to pee or something? Whatever. I was going to go up there and show you how weird they are going on the stairs, but the guy's blocking the way. Hello, I spoke with you on the phone a little while ago. Thanks. Oh, my nose is starting to get running again, so I think this is the last video I'm going to be able to record today. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Yes, I am. Oh, Who are you? Yes, forgive me. My name is Gimble. Stanley Gimble. Oh, oh, dear. Let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Tell you a little me? bit about yourself, Mr. Oh, Stan. I'm just trying to make things a little easier for those who find themselves uh, disadvantaged. Giving a helping hand, you might say. <laughs> a leg up. <laughs> 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 Bloody clever, that one. He does prosthetics, in case you're wondering why I'm laughing and he's laughing. And oh my god, look at his smile. <laughs> it's hilarious. You seem uh, disadvantaged yourself. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, you mean the arm. Yes, oh, that's an interesting story. If you've got the time for one. I'd love to hear it, Stan. Well, you might say I have a certain love affair with the human anatomy. An obsession, really. Prosthetics seemed a natural occupation in which to uh, focus my enthusiasm, as it were. And your arm? Well, I came to realize that I would never truly reach mastery in prosthetics without knowing what it was like to have to use one. Wait, you didn't. And so I decided, quite out of the blue actually, to cut off my own arm. My work, as you can well imagine, has quite improved since then. Now that's... <laughs> he's smiling again. Now that's dedication. Let's get back to Mr. McGee. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. But he didn't no, show up? he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. Sorry, I just bumped the mic. Resume, you might say. Oh, my eye is so bad. I'd heard of him. I see. Does his name Carson, Carson? ring a bell? No. Uh, I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look. I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and... I'm sorry about the sniffling noises. I'm trying to keep them to a minimum, but it's starting to get really problematic. Don't mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Thanks, I'll oh, wait here. You have... Beautiful arms. They absolutely must have them. What? He just turns and leaves. If you're a Malkavian, that line is great because uh, Malkavian usually talks all delusional and stuff, but that, for that one thing, she's just like, no. <laughs> she gets all clear, clear, and you know it's. And th that'll make sense in a minute. Don't worry. You'll understand. Oh man, my eye is just so bad. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna not be doing quite as well for the next couple minutes because I'm using one eye. 
because I'm trying not to scratch the other one, so I got it all closed, and it's my bad eye that's open, and, uh... Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man! This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. Oh, man. That guy's been oh, starting to act up. Me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, now how do I open this door? Oh, God, there he is. Now, now look at what he's running at you with. Look at that. He's hitting me with a severed arm. <laughs> here's, the, here's the funny part. Notice he has a problem. That could be his own severed arm. Oh, well, I'm going to protean him, prote him to death. Don't be messing with immortal creatures of the night, mofo! Fortunately, I have to wait till he stands up before I can hit him some more. Let's go with the fortitude. Fortitude! Murder! Whee! There we go, he's dead. That was fun. Now we'll walk all over his corpse while we open the door. Oh my god, I'm so sorry about these sniffling yeah, noises, guys. I can't do anything about it. It's just, uh, I can't hardly breathe. I'm you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Alright, got three minutes. Let's go. Yeah. Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you should head back to the what? office. I can't see. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. I understand. We'll give him the bad news. See ya. I'm sorry, I, I, my right eye is really bad, and my left eye is itching so much I have to keep it closed for a moment. And uh, I can't see particularly well. Let's go pick up that severed arm so I can beat people with it later, because I'm a psychotic vampire. Fun, let's get out of here. Really, the only thing keeping me moving through this is that I've done it enough times that I don't have to see particularly well to get through the uh, maze of stairs and stuff. go return to Arthur Kilpatrick, turn in this quest, and then we'll end the video there, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do any more today. I'll start encoding them and uploading them, and they should be up. I don't know why I'm telling you this. You guys won't see them until they're up. <laughs> that was kind of not me thinking. But either way, hopefully I'll have these videos up tonight. Uh, it's Thursday the 19th of September, I think. Yeah. Hopefully I'll have these videos up by the end of the night. Or by, you know, sometime later tonight. Why did I just go in there? That was dumb. That's not where I need to go. Next episode, we will do the Thin Blood. We will go talk to E and the Thin Bloods. We'll do that quest. And then, after that, the last thing we'll do is probably go find my way out to... We'll go do Tonga's quest couple of them. He's back there. And, uh, he had, there are two quests that he wants me to do, I think. Unless Knox never showed up, but yeah. Up to Kilpatrick. I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. Oh, there we go. My style kitchen. I can see again. His trigger figure got cut off by a psychopath. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty Hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. It's gonna cost old Arthur real good. Sorry, but can you pay oh, me now? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. Thanks, you were saying? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? I might be interested. Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Sounds fun. You've got a deal. Right, all right. The guy's name is 
Sorry, I'm trying to get the video done so I can go blow my nose. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. So just head over to her place? Marianne Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell money is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful, you're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you, you hear me? Yep, I'm going to take off, Arthur. Alright, so I'm going to call that the video. It's going to be the end of it. So uh, this is the Ezrin signing off. Man, that sounds stupid.